Can I help you there? Sure. Those supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. Everywhere, there's troubles. Who are you? Well, where was Like I said, we had a run of bad luck in the West. Lost some money on a failed railway speculation. We heard good men could do well in this country. Sure. And bad men. We haven't recovered as much as I hoped from the war. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son. The sheriff? Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. <laughs> 5,000 for horses. Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fellow over there will run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. Crazy old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaite's. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. We don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. $5,000 for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Boy, too many questions. Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. <sighs> but perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then, but head on up to the stables. 
Someone will come see you. Nice and easy. No need to rush. We don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. All right. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down. Play cool. Head around the front. Hitch up there. All right, let's hitch up here. Good work, girl. Let me do the talking. you boys I hope so heard you got some horses we always got horses fine horses I mean I don't get you friend yeah you do come on listen why don't you get out of here you scarface and your greaser buddy whoa I don't like officials we ain't officials we're connoisseurs looking to do some breedings come on now partner okay fine follow me these here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. That's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. So this here's Cerberus. Here you go, boy. Cerberus is a real reliable stud. Fathered many a race winner. This one's uh, old faithful. <laughs> he was a champion, briefly. Till he hurt his leg, didn't you, boy? Amazing runner, though. He's up for sale for a decent price. The boss would probably sell him to you if you made the right offer. And this here is Old Father Time. <laughs> My favorite horse. His coat might be a little thin for them Saratoga winners, but, uh, bred right. He'll produce another winner. Just look at those balls. Uh huh, greaser, huh? Okay, bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy now. Easy. Marston, you're gonna whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Go, get out of here! I got What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! We're being robbed! You gonna... Die, bro! Oh, you son of a bitch!
Clemens Cove is just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. You think they look like they're paying 5000 for horses? I guess we'll see. you boys want heard you was uh, heard you pay good prices for horses oh we'll buy more or less anything pop that's so sure pop I'm Clay Davies that's my brother Clive we're twins John Arthur Javier <clears throat> so what are you Cuban no I don't like Cubans that so? Maybe. Well, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 650 for them. Okay. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right, you goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got five thousand dollars, boys. But nice meeting you. See you boys again, I hope. Come on, yeah. Close the gate, Clive. The 
believed a yarn spun us by one of that Gray family, and imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. <sighs> At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Javier, I heard about a house. It could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said, said it was really freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. But they're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course, uh, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. It's up north, on the other side of the river from Valentine. Best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure, more or less. Whoa! Okay, we're pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Just up the hill this way. Follow me. There's a spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. Well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? Oh, big place, right? You got your binoculars? Well, there's a pretty big barn in the back. It's not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. A large house. This could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Boy, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. And... I got an idea. Follow me. All these trees, I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. Coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Hey, keep it down. I hear voices. Come on, let's hide behind this shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Maybe you hunt a pig this time once. Just stay quiet. Don't score notions of the Diffy Flemix head. Where you been now, Newt? Don't be boiling now, Pappy. I's gone but ten minutes I was. You can only gag all day long, cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? 
No, you didn't get all the jam. You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. Your niece will pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. What we doing, Javier? Okay. You take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see. Be quiet. about defending that barn. Let's check in there first. Place else that could store it. Hey, Arthur, give me a hand here. I told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Yeah, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Right, sounds good.
Hello again, Clay. Long as there's harness racing, there's a market for standard breads. Careful as you go, Clive. 